in this video we will create a user schema so that we can store a user according to that schema now if you guys don't know what exactly schema is then you can think it like uh, the blueprint inside mongodb we can store our data however we want but storing data according to schema is a good practice Creating and passing this schema to mongoose means here we are telling this mongoose hey mongoose create our data or store our data according to these parameters according to this schema or this blueprint. So let's see that in action and we'll understand everything okay. So for that here I'll create this folder called model and inside this model I'll create this file called user.js to create schemas first we need to import mongoose after that we can create this user schema this will be new mongoose dot schema okay and inside this we can pass this object where we can define our schema or the blueprint for our user so what we need to create this user first we will need this name okay and inside this object we can define what this name is about okay like the type of this name will be string okay and also we can specify if this is required or not so required will be true okay means this name must be string and this is required okay after that we will need this email let's copy this from here paste it here this email needs to be a string and this is required and also we will add this unique every email should be unique okay after that we need password and let's copy this and paste it here this password will be string and this is required okay and after this password we need avatar where we will store users profile picture and inside this avatar we will only store the url of the avatar okay url of the profile picture so type will be a string and let's set default default will be empty string and this will be not required okay now after creating this schema we need to pass it to the mongoose so mongoose dot model and here we need to pass the name this will be user schema so let's use this user here and here we need to pass the actual schema so this will be user schema okay now we can export this schema from this file okay so for that here we will use module dot exports equal to this mongoose model let's quickly format this code okay as you can see this is how our code looks like and now let's save this file come to this app.js now inside this post method we want to create our user for that first we need to import our user schema okay user we need to go to the same directory model slash user dot js okay we don't need to include that dot js here but this is how we will import this user here now to create this new user we can add this new user and here to create this user we need this name okay we need this email and this password so all these things will be available inside this request.body for now let's destructure all of these things from this request.body name email and password now because we have the same name for the key and value if you use this name here this will be same name for the key and value so we can remove one of them and it will work completely fine now this is how we can create our new user 
so I'll store its value inside this new user and now instead of this request.body I'll send this new user back let's save this file our server is already running but here you can see some deprecation warning and this is coming from our mongoose so let's go to this index.js and inside this option we can add this create indexes use create index and let's set it to true let's save this file and this deprecation warning is gone now if you see something like this then you can simply read this deprecation warning and here you can see it says use this create indexes and if you didn't understand all these things what you can do you can simply copy this and paste it inside google and you will find the answer okay so now our app is running and database is connected let's open postman and send this request to this endpoint and here you can see we have this result and we only have this name but if we send some more value you can go to this body you can choose this raw and json okay now let's add some more value here okay let's send these data and now you can see we have this complete user with this name email and password currently this user is not stored inside our database this is just an object generated through our mongoose schema and you can see this id here we didn't assign this id but this id is here and this id is assigned uh, by mongodb itself so in the upcoming videos we will see how we can store this user object inside our database